The annual Artie Gras Festival is coming up. Pauline is at the Fired Earth Pottery Studio in Appleton getting ready this morning. Hi, Pauline. Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm here with Angela, a local artist. We're talking about the final process to getting pottery um, glazed and looking beautiful as what we see in, you know, stores and museums and, you know, things like that. So what do we have here? Uh, this is a piece that I uh, threw a couple weeks ago, and it's bone dry right now, so it needs to be uh, bis fired. Um, and so what happens next is we'll load it up in this kiln right here, and we'll do a firing to about 1800 degrees. Uh, that way when it comes out, it still pours. And when we dip it in the glaze, it sucks up some of that glaze. Ooh. So when we're talking about these works of art, they have to dry for first. Yes, definitely. Uh, this took about uh, two days to dry completely out. Uh, you know, it always depends uh, on uh, the weather and uh, how dry it is in here and how thick it is. So um, this piece is, you know, it's a little thicker on the bottom, so you gotta, it, it takes a little bit to dry. So now after they're fired, they get glazed. So Jess is over here. Jess is working on the glazing process. Jess, what do you have to do to get it glazed? Well, the first thing that you do once your piece has been bisqued is you actually paint the bottom of your pot with a wax resist. And what that will do is it'll make it much easier to clean up your pot because you don't want the glaze sticking to the shelf in the kiln. So you do that first. Then you can dip them in glazes. For example, this mug right here has been dipped in one glaze, and I'm only going to dip it into that one glaze. So, okay. for example, this was dipped in one glaze. That looks beautiful. You also can dip them in multiple glazes or two glazes. This one has been layered, and this is simply a white glaze and then a blue glaze on top. So you can also double dip. So after they're glazed, what's the next process? Then we would load them into our uh, glaze firing. So they have to be fired twice? They have to be fired twice. Okay, yeah. so, and you can see some of this artwork at the upcoming Arti Gras event. Just for people who don't know, what is Arti Gras? Arti Gras is an event, an art sale that is indoors. And it uh, has local artists, and you're able to see different artists through the area, and also seeing some demonstration as well. Kind of get into pottery if you haven't already, or you don't know anything about it. Yeah. So if you can't make it to Arti Gras, there are classes as well. Jess, when's the next class? March 25th, and then they start Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday nights. Okay, sounds good. Well, I cannot wait to see what they look like once they're fired. They should look beautiful. Thanks, ladies.